<laughs> All right, ready? Give me the. Uh, this is the worst. Go to the, idea go to the title. <coughs> All right, I gotta come up with a new intro. So you say this part, and I'll say, "We want to find out if we're total weirdos." <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like the intro to my video, and then oh. I'll explain what's going on. Let me see how this update's done real quick. I want to come up with something creative. Like what? I don't know. I'm just gonna start talking. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Today, stop fucking with the camera. All right. Today, <laughs> wait, wait. we're doing. Wait. All right. Today we're doing Buzzfeed polls. Me and at B Sheer nine or ten. I think it's ten. All right. At B Sheer ten. Um, we've been dating for. Almost a year now, about 15 days away, and we decided we're going to do a series. Um, I'm not sure if they'll all be BuzzFeed or if they're going to be other websites too, but this one is How Weird Are Your Couple Habits? And the gameplay you're going to see in the background is me and a couple teammates doing league play. All right, go ahead, let them know. What do we want to find out, babe? We want to find out if we are Fucking total weirdos. The first question is, do you sometimes talk to each other in a weird voice? 100% yes. I agree. I, I talk to you in... We don't, I don't do accents as much as I probably will like within the next few months. I will probably... We're probably going to get a lot of accents here pretty soon. Do you? Why? Because I, I used to do. No, I used to like. Just if I'm around my friends, I talk in accents a lot, but not as much with you. Not yet, anyway. It's it's coming. Holy shit, that guy! Melts I talk to you in baby voice, and it actually. I talk to you and a lot of other people like that too. So do you? All right, let's. The Let's answers. talk about this. Do you talk to me differently than you do other people? Mm, I talk to you more in the baby voice than I do to oh, anyone else. Wow, but I do talk to other people in the baby voice. But you, mostly. Okay, alright. The answers are actually, we have a secret language, if that's what you mean. We use baby voices sometimes. Or what? Uh, I would say... I would say almost that we. You use baby voice with me though too. So I don't know. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I do, and we do other stuff too. So it's so not. So we have a secret language then. I don't know. I don't think we talk in like secret languages, but I think our language is very cryptic. Like there's a lot of meaning behind <laughs> what we say, even though it may not be obvious. Does that okay. make sense? Alright, well then let's select we have a secret language. Alright. Fuck me! Garage. We're God, the same it. as 32% of the other people that took this quiz. That's what they answered. 32? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would say it's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! The next question. Of jump on the have you ever put your hand on their genitals casually just to say, Hey you. <laughs> I wouldn't say that specifically, but I would say more times than not. Okay, so the answers are occasionally if the mood strikes. <laughs> Always because I'd like to head to Bone Town. To Bone Town? God damn it, that guy is invincible. My brother calls it Pound Town, not Bone Town. But anyway, and then the last question, or the last answer is again, what? I would say occasionally uh, if the mood strikes. Yeah, I would say it's occasional at best. Okay, that's 55% famous. Oh, this is 
is a good one. How often do you oh, fart in front of them? Uh, <laughs> I do, while you All the time. Uh, avoid any knowledge that you even go to the bathroom. Exactly. So, often, so, occasionally one squeaks out, or never. I would say... I would say kind of... I would say more than... I'd say often. Okay. I, I do often, I think. Is that right? Yeah, but it's supposed... I guess... Are you, make sure you're recording, because this is if we win this fucking 3v4, I'm gonna fucking piss my pants. Rip, drag it. Okay, yeah. All right, never mind. All right, I gotta, I gotta get back to playing. <laughs> okay, so let's select often because you fart in front of me all the time. Yeah. Thirty-three percent of other people do the same. Okay. Do you leave like the door gift. open when you pee? When I pee, I do. I don't. So again, we have a difference in answers. We're comfortable with each other, so yes. Look, sometimes it happens accidentally. What can you do? Or absolutely not, you monster. Uh, I, I leave it open when I pee. We're comfortable with each other. We're comfortable with each other? Okay. Oh, okay. I, I I'm not paying attention to the answers. I just answer like whatever. Okay. <laughs> do you have nicknames for each other that you never want anyone else to hear? Mm, I don't really call I usually like stick with the general stuff. Like I call you honey, babe, that kind of stuff. I don't really. I guess I can just tell everyone that I call you. It's either bug or bugga. Or bug yeah, room. every time every time you say it, I think I like every time you text it to me, I think you're like saying it in an Australian voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I for some reason don't I don't get it. I guess I just don't understand that one. I guess I don't know. I used to call my friends Nug, like Nug? Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Like chicken Stop nugget. nugget. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, That's what I would Just do. nug. That's it. Just nug. N U G. Hey nug. What's up? That was it. So you got bug. Alright. So no, they're cute. They're we're gonna answer for that. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. That's that's pretty generally speaking. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you have a special nickname for their genitals? Uh, no. We don't. No. <laughs> we definitely don't. What's that supposed to be? Oh, fuck. Because that's weird. Damn. 68% 68, 68% of other people said no. They don't? 23% said yes. <laughs> well, I, I actually think it's... I don't think it's... I wouldn't say it's common, but it's. I'd say it's a, that. It's definitely a thing for pe some people. I'd say that question right there defines if you and your significant other are total weirdos or not. If you have uh, yeah, nicknames for that. your genitals, yeah, that tells. That. That's like that the right the number one question for this quiz. I would say. Okay, if your significant other is singing, do you join in? Uh, depends on what they're singing. You, you don't sing very many songs. Like, if you sing songs, like, they're usually pretty simple songs. Mm -hmm. But you, the music that you, like, actually like is, like, shit I don't really ever want to sing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. The answers are two a little bit different for this. Obviously, we're partners, okay? I like to watch... Or I laugh at them. Ah, oh, suck. So I don't know. I don't know what to answer for that. I, I like, like to. Right I would say I like to watch you sing. You like to watch me sing? Yeah. That's what one of the answers is. So I'm just gonna pick that. Okay. One. All right. Next question. Have you openly discussed what your plans are for the zombie apocalypse? I don't think we really have. 
No, we never have, but since we've been watching Walking Dead, I've been thinking about <laughs> thinking about I'm what not I really would surprised. do. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You you haven't really watched like the beginning. Yeah. A lot of people say that the like the first few episodes are or not the first few episodes, but the first few seasons are the best. I don't know. I've been thinking about you know a I mean? lot about how much of a badass I am and how I would handle it if I was in that TV show. So. How how would you handle those things? Damn, I can't. I would I most definitely always have a buddy. The buddy system is the way to go in that show for some reason. If you don't have a buddy, you're well. Here's here's dead. what The Walking Dead is like really all about though. It's like your buddy can fucking stab you in the back at yeah. any time. So. It's kind so of I would like choose a, you then. I mean, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> okay. You would choose me over anybody. Like, who would you bring into a zombie apocalypse? You. I feel like I also feel like you would protect me. You wouldn't even really want me to do anything. I feel like. <laughs> so you would protect. You would bring me because I would protect you. Yeah. And that's like the sole reason. And I really wouldn't even have to fight that much, I don't think. Okay. Well, I mean, you see what kind of situations people get into. Like, would people take you hostage to try and get stuff from me or what we have? Probably. But I think you're smart enough to outsmart them and get me back. Okay. Without nice getting work, them too. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Okay. So we know what so, to do when it happens. No, but nope. we watch <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This answer is no, but we watch Walking Dead, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that one. <laughs> I feel like it's... That's I, really funny. I feel like not that many people watch The Walking Dead together. I know, like, Kristen hates it. Like, she hates watching it. But Nick, wa like, that's one of the only TV shows that he watches. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was gross, but now I do. Well, I mean, it's like the Game of Thrones. Like, it just kind of weird. Like, it just becomes part of the show. Like, it, yeah. Seeing all the boo, like, you just expect it. Like, mm -hmm. you're just like, okay, it's a part of the show, but ninety percent of it isn't that. So you just kind of let that, let that be. Okay. So the next, next question. question is: Have you ever worn your partner's underwear? No. <laughs> Would you? Would I? Yeah. There would have to be some serious reward for me to ever wear your underwear. It, what if I, it was just like I double dare you to wear my underwear? For how long? Mm, let me take a Snapchat. <laughs> Send long it to who? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell would you need a Snapchat of that for? You're right. I don't think my dick and balls would fit in your underwear. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> uh, yes, I've definitely worn your boxers before. When? At your house a couple times? Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So, what do you want to answer? Sometimes, once, no. I would say, yet. how many times did you do that? Did you do that a once? Times. A couple times. I would say. Let's just say once for the sake I, I of that you've once. never. Okay. Yeah, because it happened, but not, not like real. Okay. If you visit each other's family and stay at their childhood home, are you gonna bone? Am I are you gonna bone at my child, like in my bed that I slept in as a kid? No. Or if you like, come to my house, uh, like I've lived in that house my whole life, it's not the same bed, so I guess that doesn't really. I don't know. Let me read you the answers. Are you kidding? Duh, it's a turn on. Yes. A turn on? No. <laughs> yes, but we'll be very quiet. Are you kidding? Oh, this no. God. Walks away from life forever. It's, yeah, it's definitely not a turn on. I wouldn't say it's a. Hold on. What's, fuck me. I wouldn't pay attention. <laughs> uh. Those are kind of shitty answers, because I, I feel like at our houses, our rooms are like... Great job. Get ready for the next round. They're not very childhood-like, I guess. Yeah. So it's just kind of like your room. Yeah. 
And I've I've redone my room like within the last four years, I think. So when I was probably 18, 19. So my bedroom is technically our guest bedroom, so it's Switching not Yeah, yours there. is on like another. It's not floor, even like so I don't me. think that counts. Yeah. I would say yes, but very quiet, just because it has happened in both places. But I don't Destroy think that objective. it's like that big a deal. You know okay. what I mean? So I would I would say the medium answer or response. Okay. That's the same as sixty four other percent of people, so sixteen percent said it's are you kidding, duh, it's a turn on. I don't I don't get that. I don't I, get it either. I, I think that's weird. I don't weird. think it's a turn on that what the fuck in our spawn. I'm gonna have to pull out a sniper rifle. Do something crazy to get some kind of cool gameplay. Cause this is not me. I'm getting carried by my homies. Don't you always? Ha! <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Okay, next question. How often do you check each other for moles? Never. Never. Isn't that what a doctor is for? Yes. That yeah, that's is, a dumb question. That honestly. is our answer. Yeah. Just like everybody else's. Do you pop each other's pimples? I don't. No, I would never. I, not that I would never do that. I you guess, would never do that for me? I guess if you asked me to, I would. But I, I wouldn't. You, you like to like pick at stuff, though, don't you? Yeah. I feel like. Like when you have dry skin or something, but I don't know. Uh, let's say. I would say yes, just the ones on their back that they can't reach. It's definitely I not don't, soothing. I do that for you. You wouldn't? Well, I mean, I would do it for you, but I wouldn't like it. Yeah, just, yeah, I would do it because I care about you. So. Okay. Ooh, two-piece. 50% of other people made this face. <laughs> As their answer. This is a gross one to admit. Have you ever used their <laughs> toothbrush just cause? Just no, cause? It, no. no. Okay, yeah. It's never been just cause. It's it's, never... We've either forgotten it <laughs> and we can't go another two days without brushing our teeth. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I guess we. I have done it on purpose one time just because, like, not just because, but, like, because I needed it. Oh, like, yeah. Bad, okay, like. so the answers are we're sharing the same germs anyway. Maybe a few times when I forgot mine. That is not hygienic. So I would say uh, when we forgot it. Yeah, that's that's a fair answer. I'm gonna <laughs> oh. try to get it for like, oh shit. Fifty percent of people said no, absolutely not. That's not hygienic. Well, it's a lot of people were like really crazy. I mean, not like crazy about it, but they don't they don't like that kind of thing. Ne so. I don't either. I'm gonna be a dental hygienist. I think that's disgusting, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, would it's, rather it's like, you. I would like, rather you brush your teeth with my toothbrush than go two days without brushing your teeth. Yeah, I, because that's better for you than I agree. going. That's two days that's kind of like a doctor being like, "Hey, let your kids do some like bad germ shit because it increases your immune system." Like, right. being too clean messes with you sometimes. So. Okay. Have you ever asked them to smell you because you think you yes, smell weird? Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. You have. I don't know if I ever. Yeah, I probably have. Maybe if you haven't asked <laughs> me, I've been agree. like, did you put deodorant on today? And I'd smell your armpit. But. <gasps> yeah. Okay. What happened? Did we take too long? No, oh, no. I just backed out. Okay. Of... Well, at least we get to watch old DJ make some Great plays and win around. Well, sides. yeah, I need them to tell me I'm. No, I'm not that mean. This. That was the answer to the question. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Do you get dressed and realize you're both wearing the same thing and must change? Uh. I... No, I think it's cute when we met. Yeah, I don't think we, uh, we've done it before, but we haven't done it and changed. Okay, so the answers are all the time and it's terrifying. It happened and it might happen again. Fuck me! They're all, all bottom horns. Not yet, but someday maybe we'll be that cute. I would say it's happened and it might happen again. No, but and, ch and must change, though. Fight, but it's not over. Oh, okay. So I would say it's the bottom. I would say it's will be that cute. Okay. Whatever. I 
the end. Mm -hmm. So now what? I don't know. That's weird. It doesn't tell you. Hold on. You're... <laughs> it tells you this after. Be ass. It tells you after oh, every okay, answer. Okay. So. All right. Well. I would okay. say we were mid range for all of them. For most of them. Yes. Yeah. Forty-two. I thought there would be like some big thing at the end. Be like, you're like this. Yeah. I don't like the ones that have answers after the questions. I feel like it should tally it up as the answer or tell you at the end, but I don't know. So I'd say we're mid-range weirdos, right? I am the worst player in the world. <laughs> what? I said we're mid-range weirdos. Yeah, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't I say we're complete weirdos. I wouldn't say that. Some of those were just like comfort things, though. If anybody yeah. that's been together for like more than six, seven, oh, eight God. months is gonna be at least questioning those things. Like okay. they'll, at, they'll at least have been in that situation. I agree. And I think the answers were kind of shitty. I feel like they should have more answers. I agree. Hit markers. Hit markers again! <laughs> I swear you hit him. I hit him twice. <laughs> oh, damn. Good job. Get ready for the I, next battle. I had three hit markers that round. That never happens. It happens <laughs> once every once in a while. I had three guys that round. One and five. I don't know if we can do this. We're winning somehow, so we might just do it every time I play. So what do you think, babe? What, what do you think of the Buzz, BuzzFeed quizzes? I agree. I didn't like the answers. I thought the one was really funny that we talked about The Walking Dead and then that was an answer. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of the answers. And I like when they tally it up and tell you at the end like what your overall percentage is. Or Oh, they didn't do that. Okay, no, I thought yeah. you were saying you liked that about it. Yeah, that no, does No, I want them sense. to tell you at the very end your percentage or if you're a total weirdo, if you're a mid-range weirdo, if you're not weird at all. Okay, I understand. All right, so. this should be, when this comes out, will be Friday the 16th. This is going to be a long-ass video. Yeah. I'm trying to decide whether we should do, like, two-part ones or just shorten it up. I don't know. Alright, let's hold on. For the next video, let's pick. Well, at the end of this one, let's pick what our next one will be. So, look through the list. So, we have something to fill this gap for the next couple of rounds. Ah, shit. At least three rounds. <laughs> they kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor DJ. Okay. Switching sides. We could do which celebrity couple are you and your significant other? See, look look at the questions and see how long it is. And then, how long was the other one? I feel like there wasn't that many questions, but we just elaborated on them a lot. Nine questions for this one. I think this one would be a good one. What celebrity couple what celebrity are we? celebrity couple are we? Okay. How the? Oh, I'm gonna have to start playing serious. Let's go piss me off. This is, this is Which historical this is couple are we? Historical couple? One. I feel like that one could Eight. be a good one. What? Why is that even. Who's a city? I feel like this one's pretty basic. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what the one we would pick. <laughs> I feel like this one's kind of gay, and this one will like it'll be obvious, and you can't like see the pictures. Do the look at the questions about which celebrity couple you are. Alright, I gotta play serious, so. 
You might have to make this decision on her. Where are the two of you on a typical Friday night? PDA so, so is how often do you fight? Who wears the pants? What duet would you sing at a karaoke? <laughs> What's the grossest thing you can do around each other? I, can, I like those because you can you can elaborate what on them. What TV show would you binge watch together? What's your cuddling position? If you had a relationship and birthed a love child. If your relationship birthed a love child, what you need what quality of it have. Yeah, these are good ones. All right. I like this one. Alright, so what do we... We're, we're probably going to lose this game now because I can't fucking kick it off. What, which celebrity couple are you and your significant other? Let's let's guess first. I, no, hold on. We'll do this on the next video. But for this one, we're going to try and win this game. That's going to be the last mission. We were up 4-2 to two and we lost it. I, yeah, tell me about it. It's hard to like explain talk and play at the same time you do it all the time no but, but that's like by myself there's i'm not other people running around trying to kill by myself. no way you got, fair and square. you got me two edge shots <laughs> kill me. fair and square <laughs> fucking cocksucker <laughs> these guys are playing too fucking hard are we only playing three people? Okay. We got two picks. My team gonna pull out for me. God, <laughs> <laughs> We're playing with the same guy we played the... Uh... What was that? One and nine. Mm, I'm gonna be embarrassed that I played this. <laughs> I can play if I can... Some of the best GD players in the fucking world. No, I can't play just regular league play. <laughs> DJ smell good. That's one of my teammates. <laughs> I like it. I DJ what the fuck? It's chill. I'm gonna have to talk to him. Yeah, just be cool. Be cool, DJ. Oh he saw you. He saw you. He saw <laughs> We told him, he took a shot at him, and we're like, he saw you, he saw you, he saw you, and he just sat there in the corner. <laughs> good spot, not good use of a good spot. I ran out of a bitch. Well, anyway, sorry for that disappointing loss, disappointing <laughs> gameplay. Hopefully the next one is not as shitty. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. You have an outro, babe? No, I think yours is funny. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to get with.